All right, so I'm going to start prepping the Prius steering column to get ready to put into the Econo line. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off this mounting bracket, this tab. I'm going to end up having to cut off the tilt steering linkage. It's held on a couple little welds. And then there's another tab over here. You can see right here I'm going to end up cutting and grinding that off. And there's another tab right up here. So I'm going to go ahead and get all those cut off and uh, go from there. So with my micrometer, this part of the shaft and this part of the shaft, they should fit inside each other, maybe minimal shaving, but it is the same dimension as the Ford shaft. So I'm still not quite sure exactly what I'm gonna do to make this fit and work. I know it's gonna take a little bit of cutting, welding to make everything work, but you know, we'll, document the process and hopefully you know you guys will be able to do this in the future to your econo lines so go ahead and uh keep watching the video and i'll be working on it as much as i can thanks all right before i head outside and start cutting all these parts off of the prius steering i'm going to go ahead and see about taking apart the econo line shaft there's a snap ring right there once i remove the snap ring if all goes well, I should be able to push the whole shaft out this other side. If uh, it doesn't go easily, I'll just thread the nut back on right here and give it a couple taps with the hammer. And it should come right out. So I'm going to go ahead and get this pulled out so that I can start prepping everything at the same time. Alright, so I pulled the one snap ring off and two little taps and the center column came out. So now I just got to see, I got my micrometer right here. I'm just curious. Let me zero this out real quick. And let's get a quick measurement. So I've got, you know, point 0.10, well, 810. So this shaft is a whole lot thinner than what the Econo line one is. go to mil so we got a little over 19 mil we come to here we got you know a little over 17 and a half if we come down to the actual splines we got 17 and about a third so you know it's gonna be a slight difference in size I'm going to end up having to cut a little bit of this end off down here and either coming up with a collar to have it attached to here or just weld it up and make it work. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, I see this nut right here is threaded. I'm curious if this little piece will unthread. You know, if it will unthread, I might be able to, you know, just cut a section of this one off, you know, mill it down a little bit, tap it, because I could see those threads are a whole lot larger than what we're actually looking at. So, like, the threads were over 19 mil, so it might, I might be able to just thread this to fit into there. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to do a little bit of research before I actually take that apart, try to break that nut loose. I don't want to, you know, pop that nut loose if it doesn't unthread. So first I'm going to do a little bit of more research and then I'll keep you all updated. Alright, so as you can see I got all the brackets cut off. I threw some rusty oil, some self-etching primer on it where I was cutting and grinding. So I'm going to take you to the van real quick and show you the little piece that I'm going to have to cut off to make this fit. All right, so I'm back here out at the van and right here where the clutch would attach, you know, this is an automatic, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to have to trim just a little bit of the clutch mounting bracket off and the motor is going to fit, you know, perfectly up in here on this factory mount. So I'm going to go ahead and get this trimmed and then, uh, I can see if I can get, if my current bracket will fit right here, maybe I can get it, you know, just slapped up in the place so y'all can see what it's going to look like. I ordered me a coupler last night, 36 tooth spline to fit on the actual Prius part. And it's, uh, 
I think it was three quarters on the other side because my shaft measured about 19 mil. So if I have to, I'll sand it down a little bit, grind it, whatever I got to do, weld, you know, attach it. But I, I bought the double D one so I could, uh, you know, hopefully make it so it doesn't want to slip. But let me go ahead and get this cut off right quick. And then uh, I'll try to get the thing put into place so I can show you how it's going to fit. All right, so I got it kind of mocked up. This is far from permanent, but you know, I got the original bracket. I drilled out the spot welds. I'll probably tack weld it to here. Not quite sure how I'm going to mount it yet, but I was trying to just get general fitment, make sure I was going to have plenty of leg room with the extra, you know, mass going down the center. But it looks like everything's going to be good to go. This is close to where it's going to be permanently mounted, but you know, not quite. As soon as I get the coupler in, I'll decide, you know, how long I need to cut that other piece. And then, uh, you know, this is going to be a pretty quick project. I'm not even two hours into it, you know, minus recording time and editing. I'm way less than two hours. So it's definitely be a weekend project if you have a little bit of mod fabrication skills. But uh, go ahead and like, follow, and share. And as soon as I get some more parts, I'll update this video.